Hello, my name is Marcus Studley. I'm a neurosurgeon here at Macquarie. I'm the head of the neurosurgery department. One of the special interests we have in this department is the management of patients with Chiari malformation and syringomyelia. These are related conditions. Chiari malformation is where part of the brain, which normally of course sits inside the head, squeezes down into the spine and squashes the part of the brain that connects to the spinal cord. This can cause uh, bad headaches, but also uh, double vision, balance disturbance and hearing changes. It also interrupts the fluid flow around the brain and that leads to the development of cysts inside the spinal cord and that's syringomyelia, which is a condition that leads to pain, uh, numbness, weakness and even paralysis or death in severe cases. For patients who have symptoms that suggest they might have Chiari malformation or syringomyelia, they will generally have an MRI. But the diagnosis is not uh, necessarily straightforward. The uh, imaging characteristics are not uh, absolute, and here at Macquarie we have special uh, techniques that allow us to be more definite about the diagnosis and understand what is actually causing particularly syringomyelia. The clinical features are also somewhat difficult to work out, and we work closely with the neurologists here at Macquarie uh, University to work out whether patients are genuinely suffering from these conditions. In the majority of cases, no surgical treatment is necessary, but in patients who are suffering particularly severe symptoms and particularly bad headaches, then there are surgical options that are very effective. There is still a lot that we need to learn about what causes Chiari malformation and syringomyelia. And here at Macquarie, we have a research team uh, working with collaborators who are engineers, with the uh, radiologists and scientists who are trying to understand the the basic science behind these problems. Our team here at Macquarie has the largest experience in Australia with the management of patients with Chiari malformation and syringomyelia. We're very happy to see these patients and give an opinion on what is the best management for their individual case.